Now I'm probably going to have to run into part two because I have a lot I have to say on this for my first impressions. So, uh, no, I'm not going to sign out yet. We're going to actually just keep this going. Well, maybe I'll just keep it going and then split it in half in the editing. So that's probably what I'm going to do. All right, so let's keep talking about this. I don't want to rush it. So let's go over the pluses and the minuses of this case. The pluses. We've got flaps covering every single little inch of this. I mean, check that out, flap covering up the vibrate switch. Another flap covering up the earphone. You got a covered up volume, uh, covered up power. Boom. Easy to use. You got the Apple symbols covered up by a little plastic shield. You got the camera hole covered. Got another flap over the adapter charger little adapter spot totally seals everything off so total plus on that I really like that design to it and everything fits really good easy to put back in place alright then you see it's fully sealed flush we even have the filters, that's another plus. Filters to, you can still have, you can still hear and talk, no problem, but it has filters so no dust or anything inside. Then we have this touch through that covers up the screen, and there's no problem using it. It's got another hell of a lay on the table design, I mean, no problem dropping this. I mean, I, I, I'm actually comfortable, like, chucking this. I mean, this thing is indestructible almost. I, mean, I could drop this from like five feet and be perfectly okay. No joke. So the the toughness of this case, I mean, it's insane. Now another plus is how the silicone it stays in place. So this isn't going to be going to be one of those silicones that pops up and moves around. It's, it has these little rivets. You see, it has a hole in that silicone, and it catches on to the rivets of the plastic shell. It's got three layers. You got this silicone, the plastic shell, and the plastic that goes over the screen. So you have this silicone here. And then this silicone has that hole in it and snaps into the plastic and makes it stay in shape. And it's not going to stretch out, not going to move around. So really nice design on their part. You got another little part right there. The rivet and the hole and the silicone and that snaps into place. So really nice. I like that design a lot. The home button's covered up. Easy to use. So really, you're fully functional with this, and I mean, it's so tough, I mean, you can't beat it. The camera hole is dead on. I'm still talking about the positive, by the way. I mean, I still haven't talk, stopped talking about this positive of this case. I mean, there's so many of them. So we're fully sealed off, no dust or anything's going to get inside, no lint, nothing. It's totally sealed. Now this thing is a little bit waterproof. I heard. I heard some. I've heard stories of a guy that dropped it into a toilet and it totally survived it. I've heard a guy that dropped it in a pool and grabbed it really fast. I'm not gonna recommend taking this case and dropping it in a pool and see what happens. But hey, I mean, if you're in that situation, you're at the beach and somehow you're dumb enough to bring it to the beach shore, and drop it in the water and grab it really fast, this might save you. Who knows? I, I heard the stories that it does. So that's another plus. It might be waterproof. It might be. I'm not going to say it is. I'm not going to be liable for that. And that silicone's really soft and velvety. Really nice. Alright, so enough talking about the positive. There's just so many of them. I got to get to some sort of negative. Alright, so the only negative I can find with this case is the watermarks. I mean, I haven't even gotten any yet. Matter of fact, I, I haven't gotten any. Maybe that's just because I have a screen shield on underneath it, but I haven't gotten watermarks. On the old one that I had, it had watermarks all over, but never mind. I guess there's no minus because I do not have any watermarks. I'll press in a little bit and scoot around, but <laughs> what'd they do? Fix it? I mean, there's no watermarks. Maybe there's a newer one that doesn't have watermark. So I guess they fixed it. That's awesome. All right. Okay, so 
that was going to be the only downside. Now, the actually, there's one more downside. I mean, for the case this protective, I mean, you got to have some bulk to it. I mean, it really does feel good in the palm of the hand. It feels like you're holding something secure, but it is a little bit bulky, or kind of a lot bit bulky. I mean, this thing's a tank. So that's the only downside I can think of. But it actually, it isn't too bad. I mean, I like the way it feels in the hand. So there's the ups and the downs. It's a little bit thick, but there's so many positives to it. That just totally takes out the thick factor. I mean, this isn't going to be slipping into your pocket by any means. I mean, maybe if you have really big pockets or you're wearing dickies or something, you could slip it in. But what you're using this case with is this holster it comes in. Now, this holster, you just put it like that. And it snaps on these, you got a little button right there, that snaps into the button right there. So we're just going to put that in, and just snap it in place. Easy as that. Now we're totally secure. We'll do the little shake test. Not going anywhere. And then with this clip, you can hold it like 45 degrees, 90 degrees for horizontal or vertical. So adjustable clip really tough strong clip so nice clip to it I really like that and this color they have the they have a black one a yellow one and a white one actually so a black a yellow and black and a white so three colors you can choose from say you have a white phone you can get a white one so if you have a black one you can get a black or yellow and black why you need yellow, black, whatever you want to do. So Otterbox has three colors to this. It'd be cool if they came out with like a red one and a blue one and stuff, but they haven't done that yet. And this yellow is actually really nice, so I like it. Now there's another little bit of a downside is this clip is a little bit hard to get in and out. Maybe just take some wearing into. I'll get back to you on the second review of this case. But when I see this thing is really nice. So I'm pretty sure I've covered about every single inch of this case because I really want to spend my time with this. We're at 17, 16 minutes right now. So I'm going to have to make a part two. We're going to split this in half. So yeah, really nice heavy duty case. This is totally for a construction guy, a surfer that goes to the beach a lot, doesn't want to get sand in his phone. I mean, running, a guy that feels like he's going to drop it, a girl that drops her phone a lot. I mean, this, this could totally withstand a five foot drop. I mean, seriously, if I had an iPhone that was like broken, I'd totally do a drop test with it, but I'm, I almost give my recommendation that it would drop from five feet. I mean, come on now. This thing is totally safe. I mean, <laughs> my camera's moving. I mean, here's from like three feet. So I'm telling you, this thing is a tank. There's nothing stronger than it on the market. Alright, so like I said, I've covered every inch of this. Really nice touch through. Really nice. It's a little bit thick, but hey, that's what you got. That's the price to pay when you get a nice case like this. This is $50 at otterbox.com, so go check them out. This is case reviews with a pretty long review of this otterbox case. I'm probably going to have a couple follow-ups of it. So stay tuned, more giveaways, more videos coming soon. See you guys later.